everybody and welcome back once again another edition of Inside the Headset as we slip over to West Tennessee in the private school rankings of Christian Brothers Purple Wave where we were Stork Vision this past Friday night. How you doing Coach Mack? I'm doing great, Stork. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Well, I hope we did. I hope it's not our last time at Christian Brothers. <laughs> you never know. But uh, we did come over. We did broadcast a game. We had a big time, and uh, you got a beautiful facility. Um, it's just it was it was awesome, and you came away with a win, and uh, we had a great time. So let's talk about your opponent, Bob Jones, and Christian Brothers' first home game. Yeah, it was. Uh... It was an exciting game. I thought we did a lot of good things, but uh, obviously a lot of stuff we have to improve on and moving forward. But, you know, we're young and green in a lot of areas, and I thought our kids played with a lot of determination and toughness, and we're, you know, resilient and kind of times that were tested. So, um, overall, I was very pleased. Quarterback seemed to play well and uh, executed uh, very well. And then, of course, uh, Al Wooten had a, had a great night for his opening night as a, as a Purple Wave player. Player. Yeah, I mean, he's a outstanding football player, probably one of the more under-the-radar guys in the state, in my opinion. You know, he's a state champion wrestler at 220. Um, you know, been a three-year starter for us. Plays both ways. Um, you know, he's kind of a throwback kid, and we're lucky to have him. Coach, uh, came away with the win. Everything seemed to go real well. Now uh, on to uh, on to Hillcrest. Hillcrest. Yeah, Hillcrest yeah. High, the Vikings, and Coach Lorenzo Barnes. And uh, they lost to Kirby 38-0. to zero. So talk a little bit about uh, the Vikings and what you got going on there. Yeah, I mean, they're a, a young program. I mean, they've been around for a long time. But, I mean, it's a smaller program. Um, should very athletic, you know, but uh, it's allowed us with the lack of practice time that we had outside that I told you about from the last few weeks. You yep. know, we're yep. kind of able to go back and focus on us and the detailed things and fundamentals. And so right now it's really more about us just working on Christian Brothers. Other than that, uh, uh, going to have to let the guys off for the uh, for the weekend a little bit. It's coming up. But they're they're going to want to go to LBL, aren't they? <laughs> Um, they won't be get, We labor on Labor Day. You're going to labor uh, on Labor Day, so you're not letting yeah. them off. No, no, no. We have MUS next week, so uh, the parents have known that from midsummer. So there will be no off days uh, this next weekend. Well, I mean, it's Coach. Hey, look, you sign up for the program. You know, you can catch up. You can ski anytime or be out on the lake. Uh, that's uh, as my friend says. Idle time is expensive. Yeah, and, and and our parents are great about it. They know. I mean, the kids. If you gave them a choice, they they're gonna want to be with us. Absolutely, doing what they need to do to get ready. So um, we never really have a problem with that. And again, they'll come in Sunday at noon and get our lift and conditioning in, and then we'll practice Monday morning so they can flip burgers and have hot dogs uh, Monday afternoon. But we've got work to get done to prepare for our big rival. Last day to kind of kind of mess around and uh, tease those girls and hang out in the pool, isn't it, Coach? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll be looking forward to that as well. So hopefully I can get some time Saturday to watch college football. And and then obviously Monday is the last uh, pull day probably for the year. So uh, I'll take advantage of it as much as I can. Absolutely. Coach, uh, we wish you the best of luck Friday night. We hope you stay injury-free, and we'll talk to you next week. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.